Welcome to Rimmer's Music with Piano People. My name's Hannah. And my name's James, and today we're here in our brilliant new Chester showroom to take you through some amazing new upright pianos we've got in at the moment. Hannah, what have we got here? We've just received in the Kawai K700 and K800 AS, but first, let me take you through their design. The Kawai K700 and K800 AS have a unique cabinet design that we don't see on other pianos that have been manufactured by Kawai. When they've designed these upright acoustic pianos, they want you to have a grand piano playing experience and they achieve this in a few ways. For example, the music stand is a little bit higher, just like on a grand piano, so it mimics that feeling. It's extra wide, which I think is really handy as you can fit loads of sheet music on it. It also has a, grand, a hard finish, which means that if you're notating your sheet music with a pencil, you're not gonna scratch the surface of the music stand. The lid has a vertical fall, which means that when you're playing the piano, you can see the reflection of your fingers. Again, just like a grand piano. It also has a soft closed lid. And again, the design is very similar to a grand piano. The cabinet is lockable. Overall, it has a traditional design with the front legs and brass fittings. That's a brass logo and three brass pedals. So now I'm sat in front of the K800 AS and I'll take you through some of the defining sound features of the piano. So Kawai are notorious for their mellow and warm sound that they put into their pianos. And these models are no different. I'll give you a quick idea of that with an arpeggio now. full-bodied sound there. Now there's a few ways in which you can manipulate the sound of the pianos. The first of which is by putting a felt in between the hammers and the strings, which gives you a softer sound altogether. Usually that's done with the middle Celeste or Practice pedal underneath you, which it is on the K700. However, on the K800 AS, the middle pedal is a sostenuto pedal, and there's a lever just here on the left of the keyboard underneath which you can pull towards you and it puts that felt in between the hammers and the strings. Which is a nice sound on its own anyway. And then another thing you can do on the flip side of things to change the sound of the piano is lift the lid up, which gives you a little bit more brightness, more high harmonics from this huge body of the piano and a little bit more volume as well, which I'll try and demonstrate by lifting it up now. See if you can hear a difference in the tone change here. Hopefully you could hear there a little change in the tone with a little bit more brightness and more volume when you lift the lid up, which gives you a little bit more capability with the sound of the piano. So there's the sort of general idea. And Hannah is now going to give you a demonstration on both the K700 and the K800 AS so you can decide which sounds a little bit better for you and hopefully make one of these brilliant pianos yours.
So there we have it. That is our brilliant Kawaii K700 and K800 AS in beautiful polished ebony finishes. The pianos are on display at the Chester showroom, so if you'd like to try them, please pop down. Me and my colleague James would be happy to help. If you're watching from YouTube, you can find a link in the description below to the Rimmers Music website where you can find more details about the pianos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye from me. And goodbye from me. Goodbye.